Uh, good evening. Listen, this is a COVID-19 staycation announcement. Okay. Um, we're putting together different resources to uh, help people, you know, experience this COVID thing in a little different way. So tonight I want to um, make a request, really, of you on behalf of other people. Um, probably many of you know that you read the newspaper, read uh, online or the publications that, of course, there are many incidental side effects of this uh, mass quarantining and lockdown of people. And I am a licensed mental health care provider. And, um, of course, we see in a lot more stress and a lot more anxiety and difficulty. But more importantly, I want to tell you, if you don't know, one of the main difficulties and symptoms sometimes of a mental health struggle or emotional health struggle is isolation, especially in depression, and especially avoidance and agoraphobia and panic disorder and OCD. There's a lot of fears um, and PTSD too, feeling isolated and cut off. And, and that is all strengthened right now. But really what I want to call your attention to is think for a minute. Five million, or you know, whatever the incidence is of people who before were really benefiting from being out in a community, in a church, a synagogue, in society, where they were able to mitigate some of the intensity of their isolation. And now, for a couple of months, they're alone. And I'm talking specifically about people without family, people who live in an apartment alone in Chicago, in LA, in New York, in Miami. And they can't come out and there's nowhere to go and going to work at their job at the Goodwill or the Dollar Tree or the corporation or wherever gave them that reprieve, gave them that outlet and up their level of functioning and a higher level of feeling good. And right now, there are so many of them suffering. So many. Some of them are doing great and some of them are suffering so much. So here's my request from you. I want us all and I want a request of you to think of at least one person who might possibly fit that category, who may not have anybody reaching out to them. And I want you to commit to yourself. And when, when you finish watching this video to go and email, text, social media, ding, ding them, Twitter them, FaceTime them, Facebook them, <laughs> whatever it is, Take one person, if you're really motivated, take five people and every day reach out to someone who you believe might be very isolated. First of all, you might save a life. Secondly, you're gonna lift their spirits and it might help them feel a little more connected. Even better, if you're really motivated, play an online game to have a discussion, invite them to a course together online. See what you can re do to reduce the isolation. So I'm making that request of you, if you could please take that upon yourself. If we all do this, we're going to reduce the suffering greatly. And it's an opportunity to do some really good deeds that we wouldn't have the opportunity to do otherwise. And if you know of anybody who, you know, you want us to be of service to, we can reach out to them and send them some resources and other COVID-19 resources. All right. Have a good evening and thank you for listening. Thank you for your attention and the opportunity to share with you our feelings and this simple request. So think of that person and go do it. Thank you. And may God heal and comfort all of those who are suffering in all the different places. Okay, amen.